Hello guys, welcome good, to good, Colombo. Good. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're train, trying to take a train to Ambalangoda. So this is the very cool Fort railway station in, uh, in Colombo. I like it. Although they don't have any, any uh, elevators or escalators. So we had to carry the stroller up here because we're on uh, platform five. Let's do it. And so this is it. It looks like a very cool railway station. I like it. You know, it's like, it's like still old school, right? I like it. Alrighty. It is interesting. Uh, I would have thought that like the railway station is more modern than India, but it's not even true. It is just the way I saw it last time, except for, of course, that digital screen there. But yeah, otherwise it's pretty cool. I like it. Guys, uh, so it was a bit, we took uh, the bus, you know, uh, from uh, Batramula, our, the area we're staying at in Colombo, uh, down here to the fort. And it was a bit of a problem because because of the luggage, you know. If we didn't have a stroller, no problem, right? So we have one backpack. My wife has a has a suitcase and that's no problem. But the stroller, but we, first bus just let us stand. And we could have taken a taxi, of course, but, you know, of course, it's a lot cheaper and it's a lot more, you know, the way it's happening, right? Anyway, so um, next one, just uh, they, have a, they have like a, like a compartment in the back where you could throw the stroller in, there was no problem, and for free, so. And now we're waiting for the bar, uh, for the train to Ambalangoda, which will leave in an hour. Huh? So cool trains. I am liking this railway station here. And it is, it is, although it is, it being similar to India, it is very different. And that's interesting. That's not like one is better than the other, but both are interesting, right? So, so I, I, I see it as an honor to be able to take a train. So we took, actually, I found out we took a second class. There is a third class, so we took second class, so we're not the cheapest of asses, right? So, <laughs> let's see how that goes. So it was not, uh, not a good idea to go to a restaurant now because uh, they're on the other side of the railway station so we got some some short eats and uh, there's a chicken burger let's see mm. you guys okay? oh good ah Wendy? alrighty anyway so one more hour. Ah. So there's a train stopping here, but it's not ours. And actually the train before us is still not here. So there's late. And uh, that's, that goes the other direction. We're going that way, I think. But, and now there's lots of people on, uh, on the platforms. But just no, no train, which is already late for 20 minutes. Which brings me to a conclusion that it could also be us waiting for so long. We're too, we're too, we're way too early, but you know, what you gonna do? So I got a tea, a milk tea this time, you know. So it's basically it's pure milk and with sugar, of course, and a tea bag. Pretty good. It's 100 drink it, eh, 100 rupee. Yeah, I'm liking it. So it's a lot of people, and I think it's a lot of people because of uh, the gas crisis, I suppose. I'm not sure. But anyways, our train is approaching, and I'm not sure from what side. But anyway, so we're second class, and there's actually third class, lots of third class. And uh, might be a little bit more, let's say, comfortable in the second class. It's a, a second class also, very, very full, cool. not very good. Hopefully we're on the right train, right? <laughs> so we have some seating arrangement with the strangers, very nice, very funny, of course. And it's, it's, it's fuller than I thought. I don't want to be in third class. Second class is already pretty full, right? In India, they're not in third class, so there is the second class is the third class, kind of like. You know, but here they still have three classes. So, and since the second class is quite full, yeah, second, third class will be really full, I suppose. It's okay, it's just like a one and a half hour ride, so no problem. 
uh, I can stand for an hour and a half, but it's no problem. Oh, check it out. Goodbye, Colombo. Bye bye. Bye, water. All right. So we're on the train and we're moving. And this is the coastline. You can't really see it because it's, it's, it's quite dark and rainy right now. Malampitia. I thought I showed you the train, right? By walking up and down, like, you know, like usually, right? But there's no walking here, you know? There's people everywhere, so let's see, maybe we're lucky and some people go out. But that's probably not gonna happen, so. You see as much as you see here right now. I mean, this is not the kind of train that is usually so full, right? So this is some, definitely something to do with, uh, you know, like that crisis thing. Although it's not so bad, I'm, I, I don't feel it really, but it, if it comes to transport, it is like that. But anyway, it's okay, it's, uh, I'm not complaining. You know, I like the set, <laughs> no, it's all good. Uh, it's a good train actually, but I can't really show you right now. So let's wait for the next train ride, right? Again, I must tell you, uh, people are very friendly, like they were in India as well. Or, you know, I mean in Malaysia they were also friendly, but there was never full trains or, or buses. But we were in full trains in India and of course full trains now. And people will let uh, my wife and the kids sit, so that is, they don't have to do that. But they are friendly, so that is a good sign. If you, if you, you know, show someone, the people of a country, how they react on a, you know, on a, on a certain situation towards foreigners that is saying a lot about them right if you get stuck on this island yeah 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 today <laughs> got give out a cool what today okay okay baby okay thank you thank you baby thank you give out a cool what today got Oh, I made it to the door. Hello, you're wearing a mask and an umbrella all by yourself. No, no problem. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, Dylan. Don't worry. No worries. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I think he's a bit tired. It's not, he's not too scared of other people yet. again in another railway station but there's people coming in and coming in uh, it seems like nobody's going out but it's probably not true right? but I can't really show much of these places which is a bit sad people going out and people coming in and there's even a few whiteies it's getting more cramped in Every station more and more it seems but you know <laughs> seen worse yep. yeah the rain has started again We should have been there uh, like 10 minutes ago, but it's 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 taking uh, another like 20 minutes now or maybe 15. So all together has like half an hour delay, but it's it's more people than than I counted for, I suppose. So so I'll take it a bit longer. So we made it to Amalangoda with this train, which is quite full. 
right? Well, we survived it. Everybody survived it. All right. It's a good chain, and I'm not. I'm not saying it's a bad chain. It's just a very full chain. Uh, and yeah, the, uh, the the journey did take a lot longer than uh, anticipated, and than they said. But yeah, obviously there are a lot of people, a lot more people taking the train than usually. I mean, that's just even if it's 10% more, you know, it'll, it'll be an in equil equilibrium, right? All right, goodbye, train. Yeah, and it's raining. I mean, that has nothing to do with it. But yeah, of course, uh, there is. It's not a big crisis anymore. It's not a big, big problem. I mean, not, not like the Western media media's m make it out to be. But still, transport-wise, it is a problem. You know, uh, like gasoline-wise. But it's you know one that you see the end of, right? Anyway, so if that's a price to price to pay. Then that's the price to pay. It's not. It's not bad. You know, I know countries that have transport like this all the time. Let's try to find our apartment let's do it for the second Sri Lankan air, uh, railway station they even have fish here isn't that weird ah <laughs> and they have wine bottles on the table that's funny still raining it started raining at some point yesterday it's been raining all day yesterday actually actually it was not it was the night so it's been raining for two days so it'll be raining a few days actually or you know, god knows how long but anyway so we arrived here and uh yeah let's go oh, there see you later no thank you all right guys it's it's raining cats and dogs we even got separated over there and yeah it's only one kilometer uh, even less uh, which we can walk normally, but not in that rain, of course. And yeah, no space in a tuk-tuk. And yeah, just uh, wait here a little bit. Too bad I'm not hungry, but they have, they seem to have nice cakes in here and rolls and all kinds of things. Uh, are you okay, baby? Yes, you are okay, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's happy. Uh, people sometimes come and 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 touch his legs when he when he has wet legs when it's raining. I mean, that doesn't really happen very often. It just happened again, and uh, they are very worried. I don't know why. I mean, just water. Right? It's uh, you wash more water. People are worried about it. little things. Sometimes I really can't believe it. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna finish the video here, and uh, I'll show you the house or the apartment uh, in the next video, okay? Not sure, but yeah. Bye-bye.